Brandon, I hope that's a calculator. Um, yeah, about that. I am technically using a calculator on here, after all. Brandon, See? Brandon, you don't want to get a detention, do you? Another detention? Yeah, an another one. Another one! Just, just put it away, and let's, let's start filming the yeah. project. Really. Anyway, today, we will be discussing the chemistry of... You don't know. We oh, don't know. oh, 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 oh! We're discussing the chemistry of dank memes. Woo! No, Brandon, we're not discussing the chemistry of dank memes. We're not discussing the chemistry of Bernie Sanders. That's Bernie Sanders to you. We're not discussing the chemistry of Bush did 9 11. No, we're discussing the chemistry of hot dogs. Hot dogs, okay? So let's take. Let's go back to one. Let's try it one more time, okay? So today, in our chemistry project, we'll be discussing the chemistry of. Come on, you got this. Here comes that boy! So, the first step to making hot dogs is to take the cover off the grill. So, now, Brandon's gonna take the cover off the grill. Yeah, he's taking the cover off the grill. Grill. It was foretold in the lands of ancient Egypt that a gas shall exit a vessel of high concentration and high pressure in order to achieve lower pressure and lower concentration. This process is known as diffusion, and we can view it right here with this propane canister. That is dank. When we are cleaning the grill, we are attempting to overcome the intermolecular forces between the food and the stainless steel grill. As the food comes in contact with the grill, the proteins within the food form complices with the metal of the grill by intermolecular forces, and we are trying to use the intermolecular forces between the brush and the food to overcome that attraction and to clean up the grill by moving the food elsewhere. The next step is to remove the hot dogs from the refrigerator. The refrigerator keeps the hot dogs cold using a compressor which constricts refrigerant vapor, raising its pressure and pushes it through the coils on the outside of the refrigerator. Then when the hot gas in the coils meets the cooler air temperature of the kitchen, it becomes a liquid. Now in liquid form, the refrigerant cools down as it flows through the coils inside the freezer and the fridge. The refrigerant absorbs heat inside the fridge cooling down the air, and then when the refrigerant evaporates to a gas, it flows back to the compressor. The cycle begins all over again, just like the circle of life. And dank memes. Propane reacts with oxygen once they both reach activation energy. The electric igniter produces sparks that impart enough energy to the propane such that it reaches activation energy. Propane reacts with oxygen at a molar ratio of 1 to 5, producing carbon dioxide and water at a molar ratio of 3 to 4. This also creates a fire that is almost but not quite as hot as my mixtape. They say a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Well this 1,000 mile journey of cooking hot dogs begins with a single step of opening up the package. The hot dog package, just like all other plastics, are composed of polymers, large molecules that consist of repeating monomers. In the case of this plastic bag, the repeating units are, are ethylene. When ethylene molecules are polymerized to form polyethylene, they form long chains of carbon atoms in which each carbon is also bonded to two hydrogen atoms. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, self. Why the hell aren't they going over the chemistry of how the hot dogs are actually cooking? Well, the answer is simple. We just wanted the chemistry of everything else in the process of preparing food, except for actually cooking the food. 
so yeah. Um, the hot dogs are there, I guess. Um, yeah. They're, they're cooking. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to say, really. Like, the hot dogs are just, they're just cooking. I'll tell you, like, about the Mayard process and whatnot, but... I am Grillmaster, hear like, me roar! Do I need to? Like, there's probably, like, eight other people who already told you how, how it is, and, like, probably pronounced his name wrong. So, yeah. Here's some more hot dogs cooking. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Hey, Bram. These look surprisingly not terrible. You know what we should do? Make them terrible? <laughs> I was going to say, take, you know that song from Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Like when they see the Ferrari for the first time and it goes, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Oh yeah. Yeah, we should we should play that song. Oh look how artsy that is. It's a bit shaky. It's artsy. Remember, there are but two steps to preparing hot dogs. Step one, put hot dog on grill. Step two, take hot dog off grill. I don't know why you're still watching this. I, I really don't. Like, this is something you could literally do yourself. Really, seriously, why? Um, yeah, y you can go now. Nope, nope. Please, please do. No, no, I, I won't be offended. No, 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 really, go. Hey, Brandon, you know what time it is? It's time to go. Yeah, that's right. Go, as in leave. Now. <laughs> Doppler effect. Yes. OD Doppler effect. Oh, this is gonna go in after the credits, yo. After the credits, yo, eh?